Hey everyone! Alright, I'm just going to give it a second here and let the notifications go out because that takes a little bit, but we are going to do a mud mask. Alright, you wanted to do detox? Mm -hmm. So I already have one started here. So just kind of, I think you're just going to add, this is what I don't know, is I think we're just going to use the end of the brush to kind of dig it out because if you can't see, oh goodness, where's the camera? There it is. Um, so it's kind of really thick. That's kind of like the really thick stuff that was left over last time. Um, so I think if you just like break it up a little bit and then add a little bit more water until it gets to that pastiness. Will it be enough to cover my face? Yes, it should be enough to cover your face. And then I am going to try my next one, which is Calm. Oh goodness, I'm sideways today, so I don't know where the camera is. But yes, so Calm, which is the one for normal um, sensitive skin. Um, if you have a bunch of redness going on, uh, this would be a good one. If you have like the rosacea or eczema on your face, um, eczema really anywhere else, this would be a good one to kind of clean you out and get you, um, uh, into, get you, your face calmed down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit different ratio this time of water to um, water to mask, water to the powder because um, last time I felt like it was really thick and it was what, probably about twice as much than I needed. So I, I'm going to try doing half as much powder with the same amount of water and see how that one goes. Um, and all of us advisors have kind of been um, messing around with the ratios to see what is going to be the best one. And I am still going to measure it out like exactly <laughs> because... I want to make sure that I'm finding the right ratio. So the calm one is the one with the French green clay in it. So let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess. And just a little bit more to top it up. Okay, so that was still um, quite a bit. Um, I have a new mason jar here that I'm using. So, I mean, that's quite a bit of powder in there. I'm not sure if you can you can tell, but it covers the whole bottom and it's pretty thick. So, um, and then I'm going to take, so I did half a tablespoon of the powder and a full tablespoon of the water. And then I've got another brush here. I'm going to mix it up. How's that one coming? Good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm doing mud mask on my foot now. Oh, nice. Well, you know. I did do the mud mask on my pits, and it worked out good. Okay, this is a little bit more of the texture that I was thinking I was going to get. Um, it's a little thinner, um, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's it's much thinner. <laughs> yeah. So, that one has just way too much Way too much mask, which is actually a good thing to know because now you know that a little bit of masks, mask powder goes a long, long way. I'm actually going to add just a little bit more to mine um, just because I want it to be a little bit thicker. But um, the way it was could have been just fine too. So, and I'm really glad I did it in the mason jar because now we can save it and use it again. Oh goodness, I'm the admin now of another group for, well, temporary, for the next couple weeks. And so I'm getting notifications like crazy. All right. I hear them too. Yeah. On the other end. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry, I guys. I think it's my phone going off when. No, it's my phone. All right. So now I have mine kind of in the consistency that I would want. How's yours looking? Good. Good? Okay. So then we're literally just going to paint it on our skin. We'll paint. It's like face painting for adults. Um, I feel good. I think it's fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gonna also mud mask my hands. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. This mud mask is really, um, they're good for like any part of your body. Um, well, almost any part of your body. Don't go crazy, but you don't have to worry about like getting it on other parts of your body and it like harming you. Yeah, this one is, this consistency feels much better than the one before. Um, not that the one before was bad or anything, but this feels more appropriate, I guess you'd say. More like a mask? Yes, more like a mask.
<laughs> Grandma and Granddad are watching the kids outside while we do this because we're doing our um, summer camp out or camp over, as we call it. Um, we're gonna gonna sleep in tents tonight, all of us, including the babies. Oh except Lord, help us! Well, yes, except for you. She <laughs> she uh, bowed out of that one. Go to work in the morning. Tomorrow's afternoon. Yeah. Got to work it. Working too much. All right. College. Hold um, on, I'm not close. Okay. Don't worry, I can paint my face for a long time. Well, this one feels so nice. And the other thing that I've noticed um, with other mud masks, uh, they were like really fragrant. I'm not sure if they added fragrance or what they put in them, but these ones are not fragrant. Would you say that? Like, yeah. like you can smell the mud, but it's not like... It smells like charcoal. Mine yeah. it smells like charcoal. But it's not like overpowering like lavender or, you know, something that's going to make your eyes water or your I nose start. I had to a brush in my nose to smell it. Oh, yeah. Not much smell. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got inside. I bet he could do one of these. Oh yeah, I should ask about that. Mud mask for kids. I am sure Table would love this. I'll do my next one. Mommy daughter one, since my mommy wouldn't do it. I don't have a daughter to do it, so. <laughs> And then I literally get to just save it like this and keep reusing it. I'm not sure how long I'll keep reusing it. I'll probably, um, you know, completely wash out the jar and everything probably at least once a month just so that I know that things are staying clean and Renewed. clean and sanitary and yeah, everything like that. And I'm not, you know, using old mask all the time, but I mean, there's still plenty in there. Even with me using half as much powder, there's still enough in there for me to use next time. So. I got all over my hands. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to rub it into my hands and see what that does. Just because I can. not I'm making my face a layer of clay. Looks good. I wonder if you could peel it off if you did enough. Um, the mud would actually dry and start cracking off, and that's actually not very good for your oh, face. Oh, let's not try that. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, the ones that like peel off are not very good because they peel off all the good and the bad and then your skin is left exposed to um, more harm than good so which would this make actually a lot of sense out. yeah once you think about it you're like oh yeah peeling all my you know the feeling off my face is probably not a good thing have you ever done those peeling off ones i have you can feel your face feel like it's naked like it yeah like no skin naked that's not not the way it's supposed to feel all right, so if you can tell, so I have the calm, which has the French green clay. I'm like Shrek over here, and she has the charcoal, so it's like dark. I remember this. I don't know. <laughs> that works. That works. So I'm I guess a donkey. Like, the, yeah, there you go, <laughs> donkey. So we're gonna let these sit for about ten minutes. Um, peel or take, wash them off about right it's before they dry. start to dry. Yeah, see some of them, some of the um. Thinner parts, there we go, that aren't on as thick uh, are going to start drying faster, but you don't want it to be like super dry where like all of your face is a you know, different color than when you first put it on. Um, that is not going to do very good, but if you I wait like probably about 10 minutes. Colors so you can tell. Yeah, you can totally tell like when it's coming on. And like once you start seeing it dry, you'll start seeing like your imperfections and all the gooey, gross stuff on your skin like start popping towards the surface and then you just get to wipe it away. <laughs> all right, guys. So, um. We're just going to wait and take it off in about 10 minutes and we'll post a picture later. Um, won't make you sit through it this time. So, all right guys, see you later.